Hey everybody, what's up? Alec Hansen, video 95, 100 videos in 100 days. Five to go. All right, we're gonna go old school today. Old school, I'm gonna ask you one question. What do you do to celebrate your homeowners moving in to their new home? What do you do to, to, to celebrate with them? Do you send them a gift bag? Do you send them a gift bag? Like like with multiple like salami meats or something that that's terrible. Do you do that? I bet you, the nice bottle of wine. You give them champagne, the nice wine. You can do so much more than that. Let's just talk about it for a second. What does when someone moves it? Who throws parties and housewarming parties for to help their new people meet their neighbors? That is so cool. Here's my point. You want influence? You want headspace? You want the chance to to be the mayor of your city? Then just focus on connecting human beings to other human beings. That's it. Check this out. And I know this is an investment, but we're gonna we'll give you two options here. Now, how about how about the taco truck and a housewarming party for your for for your new family that you just got a home for? How amazing is that? You can walk the streets with the realtor before, you can invite them all to the taco truck, meet your new neighbors Sunday at two o'clock. And then you can be there hanging out with all the people in that community, eating tacos, having a good time, maybe some adult beverages, and, and everyone's gonna know you did the loan because of course it's all gonna be strategically branded. But look, you're not there to ask for anybody. It's awesome. Maybe you got a little renovation loan kit on display because heck, people are looking at their house a new kitchen. Everyone always wants new things. Okay, okay, that costs money, I get it. You don't wanna invest in your, your customers, that's fine. How about you walk the streets and you help set up a housewarming party that the neighbors can actually bring in, invest in. Stay with me here, check this out. So you got a new home, a new customer, they're moving into their home over the weekend. And so you decide with the realtor that you're gonna walk and let everybody know with the, with the homeowner's permission, right? They know this is happening. You're gonna walk the street and you're gonna say, hey, the Johnsons are moving in this Sunday. I did the loan, this guy did the real estate, and um, we're asking neighbors to come over between two and four on on Sunday and and look it'd be cool if you brought something you don't have to bring something but it'd be really cool if you brought like a bottle of wine or you know baked them a pie let's go real old school and we're just walking the streets to invite everybody over between two and four on Sunday just to meet the family that just moved in by the way you'll love them they got two kids your age one's eight one's six they're a great family and then that Sunday two to four you show up and you're there with the homeowners and people come they're gonna come everyone wants to meet the new people of course and now that you gave them a, a, a focused intent you know they're like oh yeah we gotta go over and meet the Johnsons remember they have the new kids go oh, Timmy you should meet the new friend be a connector of human beings. I know that I talk a lot about digital and, and the, the video and all that stuff, and that's great because that's the way to make connection too. But sometimes you can actually go meet people physically in the real world. I know, I know, you, it's crazy. So think about it. How are you connecting people in your community? How are you connecting to them and helping them connect to each other? It's an amazing opportunity for you out there. If you're the taco truck family or the or whatever, the pizza family, what, have fun with that, those housewarming things too. But if you don't want to invest much money in it, you don't have to, you just have to invest your time. And I know you got some of that. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow.